Hi all, sorry for all the background wind sound in this video today. It is crazy breezy up here, but stay tuned and enjoy watching how we put together our fall window boxes. So we're gonna forage around here for some bittersweet. As you can see, there is a ton in here. When we bought the property, there was bittersweet vines going into all of our pine trees. So like this beautiful little princess pine, which is doing so much better now, was literally choked out in the center by the bittersweets. We went through and we released all the pine trees and got the bittersweet out. But I did leave some around the edges. And this area here still isn't done. We still have to clean a lot out in here. But I did want to keep some for the fall decorating so you can see in here there's quite a bit of it there is some sort of blithe on whatever this tree is though look at that Ugh, yuck hate that anyways so if you look in here you'll see it it twists around itself as well I try to pick it when it's like this where a couple of them have already opened but for the majority of them you can see right in here they're still closed when they're still closed like that they are easier to work with if you wait then the berries a lot of them just like fall right off um, but if you look in here you can just see there is a ton in there so I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna cut them out in long strips even though I might cut them down when I bring them up to do the flower boxes on the shed I want to leave them long right now because I might want that structure because you can see see you can see all this twisted vine in here it's really thick and strong and I might be able to weave other things in and out so I won't cut it until I get it up there and I start putting it in but let's harvest some of this bittersweet good amount from up top now I'm gonna head down here by the pond and see what I can get because I know yesterday we came down here and we saw oh we saw quite a bit of it there it is oh yeah you can see if you go straight down here right out there's the pond so a lot of this we're gonna open up so we are be able to see it not only from the house because the house is gonna be up in the air so you're gonna be able to see it from there but from everywhere on the property it's gonna be nice so get back to oh yeah look at this see how nice that is now these have opened but I don't have to pull them out like through a bunch of garbage so I think they will be okay so get some clippings here and add those in they like grow through absolutely everything and they are tough. I think what I want to do is find a couple of them and get them so that they're definitely growing more structured so that they're not taking things over. Yet, I can use them to decorate with. We don't, I mean, they are poison. They're poisonous, you don't want to eat them. Um, obviously. My two younger kids are in high school, so pretty sure they're not going to be ingesting any of these. Um, so, and our dog has no urge to either. But um, if I had an animal, I guess, that was going to, I would probably not use them up at the house like that. So, those are beautiful and they grab a hold of absolutely everything. So, more cuts there. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Those are sweet. All right, as you can see, we have not gotten everything cut down here. But you can see where I, I am. There's up there, well, the sun might be in your eyes, but you can see the gazebo from down here. So, perfect.
there we go. In a matter of a few snips, a enormous pile of bittersweet to use. Jokes, little Sedum of Joy, our beautiful limelight hydrangeas and bobos. You can tell the difference. This is a limelight. See how big that is? And this is a first year. And then this is a bobo. A little smaller, a little different color. And then a couple of different types of greens, gourds, maybe some pine cone, and a gigantic pile of bittersweet right from our property. So let's get it together. All right, cleaned out the flower box and looped up those bottom vines. Wendy is all get out of here today. And let's get this finished. And there it is, all done. I love the way it turned out. I love the use of everything from the bobo hydrangeas to the gourds to even some artichokes added in there. They're really fun in there. Why throw them away? I, they were a little squishy, but hey, out here they're gonna freeze because now we're into freezing time. The bittersweet, I did remove off the bittersweet. I brilliant and as far as the hydrangeas so many different colors uh, using the limelight and bubbles the bubbles have these are the bubbles right here they have more of a pink than the limelight do currently at this stage in the game so that was a nice uh, burst of color in there so I really enjoyed that the um, spike that I had coming out of the center that I was gonna leave and I was gonna use I did decide to take out of there because it didn't even bending it around I wanted that green accent, but it really wasn't working out. So it really, I think, came out well. Hope you enjoy it. Have any questions, please leave them below in the comment box and stay tuned for more here at Building Madigan Ridge Farm.